Do you think you're going to go skiing with Dad? <laughs> Don't you end up in that backpack on a plane, Miss? <laughs> this week, while JR is skiing in Utah, and Megan is vacationing with her family in Florida, it's Shirley and I getting all the things done. It is still winter. It's cold. But boy, do I have a project for you today. It's all about hanging out at the beach in a vintage style beach cabana. But first, I've got to get some shipping done. And I have to tell you, I am not very good at this. Okay, so let's jump into that tutorial about how to make these really cute shelf sitters that look like vintage Cabana Beach Girls. We started with some four by fours and had them cut with roof shapes in varying sizes, then base coated them all white. The featured decoupage collection is from the Spring Decoupage Queen 2023 collection. Choose which images you'd like and decoupage them onto one side of the wood block. For this project, I'm using Pentart's decoupage varnish and glue. Once you apply the image, go ahead and give it another coat over the top of the paper to help seal it into place. I'll be using a couple of different papers for the sides and the roof of the cabana. This pink stripe. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. It's going to be so cute. Go ahead and use a stripe for the roof or the tent area of the cabana. Trim away any excess and then allow all of that to dry. In order to minimize the amount of papers that I'm using, I will go ahead and piece together anything that I need to um, on the back side of the cabanas. So just keep in mind that nobody's gonna see this. The stripes make it really easy to piece anything together that you need to. Then I take my finger with a little bit of decoupage medium over the top and kind of blend those stripes together. Once you have completed this step, go ahead and let everything dry completely. When the paper is completely dry, then you'll want to sand any excess off of the edges for a nice clean finish before you move on to decoupaging the sides of the cabana. There you go. Go ahead and cut your side pieces to fit and glue those into place. Trim any excess and let that dry completely.
Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I'm gonna to leave a link in the description box below with all of the papers and supplies that I've used for the project today. Okay, so this is the part that kind of takes it over the top. I wanted to create that little uh, scalloped awning on each of the cabanas. So I'm using the Tim Holtz Etc. MDF pieces. This is called Trims. So what's really cool about these is they come with a matching Sizzix die which matches the outline of these shapes so that I can then cut my decoupage paper on my Big Shot and have those stripes match up with the awning stripes on the roof. I hope that makes sense. It's still not. Oh wait, no, now I got it. Of course, you'll want to base coat each of those trim pieces with white paint so that you maintain the nice crisp color intensity of the rice papers once they are decoupaged. Once the paint is dry, you're ready to glue those little die cut rice paper pieces into place. Isn't this the fanciest thing? Oh my thing? gosh, are you kidding me? Look at this. Look how cute that's gonna be. Oh yeah. You can trim these MDF pieces to the size that you need just using a good utility scissors. And then glue the little awnings into place. Okay, I lied. I said that the little awning piece was going to take this over the top. Nope, I decided that each of the cabanas needs a little flag. So I cut those out of the decoupage queen paper, drilled a little hole into the top of the cabanas, glued the toothpicks down into the hole, and then glued the flags onto the toothpicks. When I'm finished, I'm gonna give everything another coat of a varnish to preserve all of the rice paper decoupage. Well, if these aren't adorable, what sweet little shelf sitters that just bring to mind summer and beautiful weather and vacations, and they would be just the perfect little housewarm gift for someone who has a beach house or a lakefront house or maybe a cottage. Remember that while you're here, we would love it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button and leave us a comment. What do you think of this cute project? Everything I use today can be found at ellenjgoods.com or our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York. Well, good morning. You know, uh... I'm a little concerned that I might not have the time to say goodbye. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>